Alright, so I've been working on the wiring for the bike today and I just started off by crimping all these ring terminals onto these wires. These are the um, the BMS wires. So these are 24 gauge wires and as you can see, if I can grab one here, they're not overly long and they'll probably end up being a lot shorter than this. I'll probably cut them to length a lot shorter than that. So uh, yeah, these are, like I said, these are 24 gauge wires. They're pretty thin but they work out just perfect for these um, remotes because um, they only draw about half an amp peak anyway so yeah it's just the perfect wire size so I've uh, 24 of each of these so there's um, one wire per battery terminal and so there's two individual wires per remote and like I said these wires will be pretty darn short in the end so the remotes are going to be mounted um, very close to the batteries and then of course I got just my all the bolts and the washers for the bus bars and the bus bars so um, yeah I'll show you my uh, the progress on the bike in a sec here alright so here's the bike uh, I got the first batteries into the bike as you can see I just have the um, group of four and group of two at the bottom there and so basically uh, what I've done here is that all the batteries are uh, going to be uh, held down by these bungee straps and uh, so they're, they're pretty they're really pretty strong and so each group is going to be held down by two bungee straps and except for this group here that group of two I can only fit one bungee strap so that's one bungee strap but uh, yeah and, there's, and the end plates are on there too and the hose clamps are all on there and uh, snugged up and the nice thing about these hose clamps actually is that you know to determine whether they're tight enough or not you can just give them bit of a twang and you know you know whether they're tight enough or not so uh, yeah even without the bungee cords even if those completely fail like these things really not going anywhere because uh, these hose clamps they like they'll really just catch on a lot of things like there's a hose clamp here like you can't even get past this bar here so like, yeah these batteries they can't really go far even if the bungee straps do break but uh, the bungee straps will really keep them from bouncing around, so that's I don't want them bouncing around. That doesn't it doesn't instill much confidence when you're going down the road and you hear things bouncing around. So yeah, that's the main thing I wanted to avoid is things bouncing around. And I've kind of determined um, just through looking at this here that um, I've decided to do uh, all the internal connections as I go. So I'm I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get a wrench in there to uh, snug up the terminals uh, once everything's in place but I really don't want to um, put the next stack of batteries on right now and then try to put the bus bars in I think that'll be kind of uh, uh, dangerous and sketchy so um, yeah I'm just gonna do all the internal connections as I go so I'm gonna do the internal connections on these packs here uh, and then I'm gonna put uh, the next stack of batteries on so uh, so then when I come back at the end um, I can just do the external connection from here to here. So I'm pretty sure I should be able to do that with... Uh, so I won't be able to come from above, but I will be able to come from, you know, like this with a wire and hook that up. So I'm pretty confident I'll be able to do that. Uh, like I only have to do one connection per block, so yeah, I'm pretty confident I can do that uh, as, I, as I, at the end there. So I don't have um, ring uh, big lugs yet to go from here to here per se. Um, so yeah, wire is going to run from each of these blocks to the next block. So I have some wire. I'm not sure if I have enough enough wire, but I have some wire, uh, some zero gauge wire. But I don't have l the correct uh, lugs for that wire, so I'm going to have to order some lugs. But uh, I do have the old um, cables from the last time I built the bike and those are the correct size for the uh, controller which is 5 sixteenths of an inch uh, hole size there so th those are the correct size for, th for that so I may reuse them I'm gonna have to inspect them thoroughly but all these batteries have quarter inch like quarter inch these are six millimeter bolts so they have a quarter approximately quarter inch uh, uh, hole size so yeah, I really have to get some quarter inch lugs instead of five sixteenths of an inch lugs because uh, 
yeah, that hole size would make a big difference in the contact resistance there. So, so yeah, that's kind of the predicament, predicament right now. Um, so I'm just going to wire up these internal connections and um, I'll show you how I do that in a sec here. And, and then as I go, I'm going to put the next stack on and the next stack and the next stack until uh, this whole thing's full of batteries. So I'll, uh, I'll show you how it's done in a sec here. Alright, so I'm just going to show you the procedure here really quick of what I'm going to use to wire up these batteries. So I basically just have a little piece of emery cloth and I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to uh, lightly uh, polish each one. And then uh, I'll do the same to the back of the, uh, the bus bar. And then I'll put that in place. And uh, I'll put a bolt through along with uh, my BMS wires. So in this case, um, so as you can see, I made these things way too long. But oh well, I guess that's better than too short. Uh, because even the longest one will just be going from that terminal there to like right here so yeah these are going to be cut uh, way shorter but oh well so and then uh, and then I'll put a bolt through and that'll just be um, so it'll be the bus bar first of course that's the most important thing and then uh, flat washer next I think and then uh, the ring terminal and then the uh, and then the spring washer and that's it and I'll just keep doing that uh, for the the whole thing here, so I'll uh, I'll get back to you when I uh, get a little bit done here.